Alright guys, hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial on how to upgrade your living ship, which you can see I'm currently flying. And it, it looks amazing. I love the fact that it looks like ev that everything is moving inside of it. It is lovely and mine is like, uh, like a gray and like pink or red internal. But what you do is you hop into space and you enter pulse. And now th this can take minutes, it can take an hour, it, it can take any amount of time, but what you're looking for is anomaly detected and you're going to drop out a pulse on that. So I will be right back, and as I said, this uh, I didn't say it, but this is going to be a relatively short video tutorial on how to do this. And while we're actually doing this, I will show you what I have. I currently have a, mod a module for my jump range, a module for my shield, a module for my pulse engine, and two modules for my laser eyes, as I call them. So we will be right back. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long, but it could take me up to an hour plus because I've, I've waited a long time doing this before. But we're just going to fly in pulse, and you guys aren't going to miss anything. I'll come right back as soon as I find an anomaly. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. All right, you guys, we've been going into deep space for five to ten minutes or so. So what I'm going to do is actually turn around and head home because I've had a lot of luck going back to my base. So we're going to we're going to head back. Yeah, it's been about 10 minutes of, of outward flying. So we're going to head back and hopefully run into something on the way back. So I'll see you guys there. We got a hostile scan. We're just going to barter with them. They don't want it, so we're just going to get out of here. Are they faster than me? There we go. Alright, I'll see you guys hopefully in just a couple minutes. Okay, so here's an object of interest, but that's not what we want. So we're just going to keep going and hope that we hit an anomaly detected. What you're looking for when upgrading your, your living ship is anomaly detected. So we, we had an object of interest, now hopefully we get an anomaly. I haven't had much luck when I on stream and so far I'm not having any luck making a video but hopefully we get one soon like I said this could take upwards of an hour but that's how long it's taken me before I'll see you guys like I said hopefully in just a couple more minutes all right guys we were 30 seconds out from home and we didn't find anything so we're going back the other direction so hopefully remember I fly 10 minutes out and 10 minutes back so for me, it's been 20 minutes, and I haven't found anything yet. So this could take a long time. So you're gonna need, you're gonna need a lot of gold and or silver to char charge your pulse heart. I don't know if you have to be in a living ship to do this, but I am because, I don't know. I'm, I feel maybe it'll, it's the only way you can actually get the anomalies for the living ship. But we'll be back as soon as I find. All right, guys, another 10 minutes down and nothing. And you can see we're flying back home again. So that's 30 minutes and I found nothing. So your times may vary. You might find one in your first two minutes. <clears throat> you might find one like I have. Like, uh, you know, I haven't found a single one for half an hour. So, you know. You got patience is key with this. Patience is key. So, like I said, hopefully I'll see you guys in just a couple minutes. All right, guys, here we are. Anomaly detected, and it is a void heart. Yes, only took 35 minutes. And what you do is you blow it up, grafted eye node, and then what you do is you go into your inventory, you hold E on it. My grafted eye is here. 
and you place it in. And now to upgrade it, you see it's plus 20 damage, plus 56% heat dispersion. To upgrade it, all you do is you, you click on it, and now it's plus 87% heat dispersion and 24% damage. They're all 24% damage, all three that I have. This one is just the worst because of the lower heat dispersion. But it doesn't matter. It's still really good. And that means my eye has plus 60, 72% damage. So that's really good damage for that eye. That means my eye is going to be a butt kicker. My laser eyes. So there you have it. That is all it takes. Remember, boost into hyperdrive or pulse. Pulse jump, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, emergency broadcast. Let's go here. This is a good thing to show, too. So what you do is you land on these. Now, I'm, I'm not going to show you guys the full walkthrough of this. I'm actually going to go ahead and do it, but I'm not going to show you the full walkthrough. I'm going to show you the most important part. What you do is you, you walk in... <coughs> You open this first door, door open, come on, and you access this chest. And you will get three repair kits and a bunch of like ferrite dust and condensed carbon, which is pretty cool. But that's that. So remember guys, you jump into pulse. You pulse jump, you wait. It could take you two minutes, it could take you an hour. It took me 35 minutes to find one. So that's how long it takes, you guys. It, it could take a long time. It could take even longer. But thank you guys for being with me on this. Uh, well, no. Let me let me reiterate. You, en you engage your pulse jump. You wait. You find an anomaly detected. It has to be an anomaly detected. You drop out. If it's a void egg, you blow it up. And then you get your part for your drive, your your um, living ship, not your drive. It could be anything for the living ship. And then all you do is, if you're on PC, you hold E to install it, and you click on an open slot. And then to upgrade it, you simply click on it. And click and hold if you don't have the fast option enabled. And it costs nanites to upgrade them, just like buying them does. But thank you guys very much for being here with me. It has been a pleasure having you. I hope this helped, and if you have a living ship, I hope you max it out quickly. Unlike me having to take multiple hours. I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.